Hey guys, welcome to Kluge Tech Time. I'm David, and this is the DJI Flight Simulator. Specifically, this is part two of the getting the Mavic Air remote control to work with the DJI Simulator. Now, just the other day, I released a video with a kind of long, complex, drawn-out way of getting it to work. I've done a bit more research, and i found a much, much easier way to get the Mavic Air remote to work. So let's dive straight into that. So first off, for those of you guys who may not have seen that previous video, let me describe to you what the problem is. So the DJI simulator says that the Mavic Air remote control is uh, supported and will work with it. However, as far as I'm aware, nobody has got it to work just right out of the box without doing some work to get it to work. Now, let me show you what the problem is. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. The USB cable is connected to my computer and you will hear in the background that the Windows computer is trying to load and unload the drivers for the Mavic Air remote control. You can hear it tried to connect it, and then you'll hear here in just a second it's going to disconnect it. And we can actually see this behavior if we go and look in the device manager. You'll watch right here, and we'll get some things showing up. We'll see that it's trying to load some drivers for it, but it just can't load it. And you'll see that I have... DJI Assistant as well as DJI Flight Simulator installed and this is just not working. Now you don't have to have DJI Assistant to get it to work. The process that I showed you the other day does require it but the process that I'm going to show you today does not. Now what we'll see is the process that I showed the other day even though the Mavic Air remote control will work with the flight simulator, it doesn't work with the DJI Assistant 2. The process I'm gonna to show today makes it so that it will work for both. Super duper simple. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. I'm gonna leave this turned on. It doesn't have to be turned on. It doesn't have to be connected. All I'm gonna do is once I have DJI Flight Simulator installed, it doesn't have to be open, just installed, go to the installation directory for where you installed the simulator. I installed it in the default location under C Program Files x86 DJI Flight Simulator, but if you installed, installed it in a custom location, it's going to be different. Go and find this file right here called DJI underscore USB 55 blah 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 dot exe. This is the file that you need. All you're going to do is go ahead and execute this. It's a simple installer. It's going to ask you for confirmation. Do you really want to do this? I'm going to say yes, of course I want to do this. I'm going to say next and it's going to go ahead and install it. It's going to give us a little uh, pop-up here saying, okay, it's ready to go, we're done. And you'll notice that in the background here, it's no longer doing the beeping where it's trying to load and unload. I'll go ahead and click Finish here. And we'll see that now in DJI Assistant, it's now recognizing the fact that we've got a remote control connected, and here it is. So you can see that I've got the latest firmware update for it, so it's working for DJI Assistant. I'll go ahead and close that out and I'll minimize this and I'll go back to the device manager and we'll see that it's now seeing the DJI USB virtual comm so it is working, it's showing, that's exactly what we want to see and I will show you if you go into the actual simulator here itself, turn the sounds down because DJI has the music cranked up on this, so we'll see. Now, if I just go ahead and start moving around, navigating in the flight simulator with the Mavic Air remote control, it's going to work perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give you a quick demonstration of using it. So you use the sticks to be able to navigate up and down and side to side. You use the function button to select an option, and you use the pause button to go back to the previous screen. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead. We'll just go to free flight and we'll just select now again so i'm using the mavic air but you don't have to you can use the mavic air to fly any of the other aircraft that are in the simulator so if we wanted to fly the mavic 2 zoom or the mavic pro or the mavic air the spark or any of the other aircraft that are available in the simulator you can fly those simulate those aircraft but control them using the Mavic Air remote control. Now, there's aircraft in here that are not supported for their remote controls. You can not You can fly the Spark in the simulator, but you have to use a supported controller. The Sparks controller is not supported for the uh, simulator. So you have to use either Mavic Air or one of the Phantom remote controllers to be able to s 
uh, control the spark in the simulator. One little tidbit of info is that this process that I just showed you guys, there's rumors that at least it'll make limited support of the Mavic Pro. Now, I don't have a Mavic Pro remote controller to test it out, but there's rumors that some people have gotten at least limited functionality to work with the remote controller, at least the sticks. Now, I think that maybe some of the functions don't work with it, that you, uh, you have to use the keyboard for some functions, but the sticks will work, so flying it will work. So that is getting the Mavic Air remote controller to work with the DJI Flight Simulator. Super easy process, that long complicated process that I described in my video that I posted a couple of days ago is not necessary. Uh, it is super simple to go in and get it to work. So I hope that helps guys. Uh, if you guys like the content that I'm putting out here, if uh, this is useful for you, I'd love to see you hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you hit that notification bell right next to it so that you know when I'm putting out future videos. Hope you guys have a great day. Get out and go fly it, whether it's here in the simulator or outside in the real world. It's rainy outside, it's wet, it's windy. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna fly for a little bit in the simulator and get better. So hope you guys have a great day and we'll hope to catch you on another one soon. Ciao.